You see, we're not even fighting it even, man. <laughs> Yo, I, out in 24, back in 48. Yeah, but w w what happens? Does he kill somebody in that 48? Does he, like, put fear of God? Does he cause some person, some woman to be afraid to, like, go out at night? Does he cause <laughs> a bunch of people to, mental trauma? I Does think he... all of the above. All of that. <laughs> You know, All of that leading up, culminating into him one day murdering somebody. That's usually how it plays out, right? Yeah. Next. It's mentally messing me up a little bit, yeah. I do cry here and there thinking about it. I'm surprised I'm living right now. Tonight, this man is one of few speaking up about his terrifying experience coming across those terrorizing and thieving. This is News 4 at 10. I'm Samantha Jones. And I'm Corey Stark. But... This crime takes us to one of the city's safest areas. News 4's Gabriela Vidal is live near Hampton and Chippewa with a story that's only on four. Yeah, Corey and Sam, it actually happened here where you see these drive through ATMs behind me. It's an area that seems to be getting a lot of foot traffic even at this time of night. That's where the victim I spoke to today said this incident occurred. He says it's something he hasn't seen in the 20 years that he's lived here. And now he's sharing his story, hoping that others watch out their surroundings. It went through the edge of my passenger seat. Being said, my elbow is probably eight inches from it. It's the bullet hole in Richard Beckett's windshield that now serves as a fearful reminder. I'm physically fine. Mentally, I'm just, I tear up every now and then thinking, well, how am I still alive? Yeah. Yep. I never heard anything happen in this, this neighborhood. Of when he was wrong. <laughs> Damn, glider, man. Uh, listen, man, that is, it's enough to shake you up and see your life flash before your eyes, man. <sighs> man. When are you glad it's gonna go back to being gliders, man? It's it's enough, son, man, man. We we why y'all trying to act like us, man? Be gliders, <laughs> man. Right. All right, Robert E. Lee is spinning in his grave right now. <laughs> yeah, man, definitely. All of them spinning in their grave. George Washington, Teddy Roosevelt, everybody spinning in their grave, man. Shit. Man, just go, just be gliders. Stop trying to be sympathetic to Sunmen. Be gliders. Run your country as if we don't exist. Up in this, this neighborhood. Of when he was robbed while attempting to deposit money at one of these ATMs at the Bank of America off Hampton at Chippewa. It happened about 9 o'clock this recent Saturday. I was pulling in on this side. Well, let me just say this. <laughs> okay. Now, I just went to the... Um, I went to go pick up something from Target and then I stopped at the KFC on the way home. And, you know, even those things, you know, you got to keep your head on the swivel and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. But going to the, a, a drive through ATM at night, I mean, you can't wait till the morning. Like, what the fuck you need to do? What do you, what do you need? What are you doing? You going to the strip club? What the fuck is I mean, what's going on? If if you're in this position, guys, just wait till the morning. Unless it's like unless like the fucking like mafia is like come to your door and say, hey, Paulie says you gotta pay him tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like wait till the fucking morning. And if you have to go, you better be strapped. But him being strapped right here doesn't help him, Johnny. Johnny, what is he going to do? Like, see his son, man, and just start shooting through his windshield? Yeah, haven't you <laughs> listened to Mossy talk? <laughs> Salute to my bad Aaron for the $1 cash app, man. He said, like, yeah, man, I mean, just because you see, see, like, for instance, man, you see me. Like, like now I'm back in D.C., I feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the city life, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to maintain my vigilance. You know what I'm saying? But there's some things you can't do nothing about. A, you're in the car. A sun man appears. You got to. You got your gun in your your, your, your glove compartment. Sun men are everywhere. I bet this guy sees sun men all the time in South City. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? You see something all the time. The sun man appearing before you doesn't necessarily raise eyebrows like that. 
and then he pulls out a gun and starts shooting. You having a gun does nothing for you, and the glove compartment does nothing for you. First in line to deposit money is looking on my phone to see where I what account I want to put it in. He says a minivan pulled up into the same lot with at least three masked men inside. Two men opened my door and said, give me, give me the money. It was a struggle. This guy over here, this guy over here, I got it, the money away from him. This guy got the money from me and at the, at the during this, I got punched in the face. It was a little bigger a couple of days ago. Beckett says it was at some point while fighting back, one of them shot at his car, barely missing him. And I'm lucky to be alive today, and I don't know why I fought. It's just instincts. St. Louis Metropolitan Police tell News 4 they are still investigating this robbery. Yeah, he's in St. Louis, man. He sees some people, some men, all the fucking time. Similar ATM robberies last Monday. One at the same Bank of America. The other less than two miles away. 3000 Part of that was my tips, and part of it was... I need to put back to pay some of my doctor bills and hospital bills. And Beckett says he never would have expected something like this and what he says is an otherwise safe neighborhood. Now he's living more cautiously. Even this, you know, my car to go to the gas station now or going to Snooks or something. It's a shame, but yeah, an eye opener. Good for you waking up then. News 4 did reach out to Bank of America for a statement in response to the, this incident. And while they say they can't discuss specific security measures they're taking, they do say that they're working with local law enforcement on ensuring the safety for all customers. Reporting like <sighs> <Yeah. Um, laughs> Oh, man. Um. We have a crime alert for Cooper Young tonight. An armed robbery at seven o'clock at night in a residential area has Cooper Young on. is Memphis. This is Memphis. This is Memphis, y'all. Where um according to Day, Sun 